Hello, let's do some more stoichiometry problems. So let's look at this problem from the perspective of how we're going to convert from grams to moles or moles to grams. So let's read the question and find out. So how many grams of hydrogen are needed to react with 17.2 moles of nitrogen? Well this 17.2 moles of nitrogen is actually our starting point. So we're going to highlight that in green and we understand that we're going to start at moles and our question is actually how many grams of hydrogen. So we're going to highlight that in red knowing that's where we're going to end. So normally we look at grams to moles to moles to grams but in this case we're not going to start at grams we're going to start at moles and we're going to go moles to moles to grams so we're only going to need to do two conversions so let's start with our 17.2 moles of nitrogen N2 reminding ourselves that this is a diatomic molecule because nitrogen is in its gas form by itself and because we're only going to do two conversion factors we only need to set up two fractions and those fractions will be set up like so. So we have times and times because we're going to do two steps. Now whenever we go from moles to moles we always use the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. So in this case we are comparing three moles of hydrogen to one mole of nitrogen. So we have a three mole over one mole ratio. When we go from moles to grams, we always compare the molar mass or the gram formula mass to one mole. So our conversion here looks like this with the gram formula mass of hydrogen or H2 being 2.02. Uh, remind ourselves again that hydrogen in this case is diatomic because it is, it is in its GATS form. So in this case, we have moles canceling with moles moles of hydrogen canceling with moles of hydrogen and we're going to end up with grams of hydrogen. When we do the multiplication on this we get 17.2 times 3 times 2.02 .02, and that gives us a final solution of 104 grams of H2 seeing as we have three significant digits in the question and therefore we need three significant digits in the answer. So I hope this was helpful for you to see how to do a moles to grams stoichiometry conversion.